if you go and ask your mom my mom is 99% times right about things and i'm not and i accept that wholeheartedly she has more experience than me i could read all the books in the world and still i would not be as educated as she is no is a complete sentence and for any one of you wondering this is coming from a person who always found it very difficult to say no whether it was to friends or simply my relatives i always found it very difficult to say no to people and raise your hands you are a normal human being if you never indulged into drinking smoking partying or doing night outs or just hooking up in general you are completely a normal human being if you did not indulge into all these things and it does not make you naive it does not make you ugly or unattractive in any way will your inner self allow you to do all those things will your inner self allow you to hook up with someone you cannot be in a you know you cannot be with them in a commitment you cannot be with them in a secure relationship will you chase all these butterflies if you know that you cannot build a garden with those people was it the number of people i have killed or the number of people i have seen naked anything like that i did not know hello and welcome back to your channel guys this is manu and in today's video i am going to talk about the culture that we are normalizing in the disguise of being cool or for social validations or simply to have the feeling of belongingness today in this video i am going to share my experiences and what i really feel about all those things going on in our lives just imagine you want to buy something and you constantly start seeing those reels in your feed when i ordered a bag i just searched for it on the internet and the algorithm picked it up i started seeing reels regarding the same and i could see around 100 reels for the same thing and that goes same for this culture as well if you watch one reel regarding this same issue if you watch one thing about smoking drinking partying or anything it would constantly show in your feed and after some time you will start feeling like it's okay it's normal everyone is doing that i should also do that even at some point in time even i started feeling like that and it is not okay because we are just normalizing the social media culture which is not even real you can be the cool kid of the group who goes out partying late night but still choose not to drink or smoke or hook up because you know your values you've been brought up in some way you've been raised by your parents that you do not indulge into all those things but at the same time i am not against those people who choose to drink or who choose to do all these things i'm against those people who normalize this culture on social media and make everyone around them feel like it is very normal for teenagers or for people of our age who have just entered into their adulthood and just started seeing the real world with their own eyes and they have just entered into the real world with their bare feet and they can get you know they can get wounded at any point in time it is a troublesome situation for each one of us because we are not able to identify and distinguish between both of these things which is actually normal and which is not if you normalize this if you watch at least three videos on the same topic and you will start feeling like oh if they are doing that i can also do that it's very normal and now in today's generation if you are a part of a big circle or a social group if you do not drink it's not cool no 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 it's not cool at all if you do not smoke and if you do not hook up if you do not have body count yeah body count i just remember this thing i was around 18 or 19 probably i had absolutely no freaking idea what does body count mean was it the number of people i have killed or the number of people i have seen naked anything like that i did not know body count simply for those who do not know and watching my video it is the people number of people you have slept with and people are actually normalizing calling it cool for those people who have slept with more than 2 3 people there are 8 billion people in the world how many people could you sleep with it's not even cool to normalize these things well let me just leave this topic and start what i really want to talk about if you come from an indian family normal indian middle class family you will realize if you earn 25000 in a month how can i gift something to my mother how can i 
and miss something for my father how can i buy them a health insurance or how can i do something for my relatives how can i uh, you know buy that furniture or buy that new thing that could help my household chores anything around your house or your family or your close ones you do not even think of investing into some materialistic thing or indulging your in yourself into some partying or you know going out or anything like that not even for a broad trips but some people on social media make it feel like it's very easy for middle class people to you know start chasing their dreams if they are earning in millions or they are earning in lakhs you, you can actually do that you can do it very easily it's amazing you can be the rebel in your family but do you really want to be that rebel who can do all those things against your own will will your inner self allow you to do all those things will your inner self allow you to hook up with someone you cannot be in a, you know you cannot be with them in a commitment you cannot be with them in a secure relationship will you chase all these butterflies if you know that you cannot build a garden with those people no honestly if you got into all these things because you just wanted that badge of belonging trust me you can try it out i can give you a challenge and you can try it out the friend who convinced you that it is okay to party it is okay to drink and it is okay to indulge yourself and do all these things just call them and ask for 50000 rupees leave 50000 just ask for 25000 ask ask them tell them call them and tell them bro i am in a situation and this is a medical emergency in my family and i really need 25000 rupees from you and i'll return it by tomorrow or by next week just tell them this thing and see how many of your friends how many of your very close friends who taught you to do all those stuff are going to return this favor i can bet not even one because the situation that we are trapped into is called the social influence of social media this is just an influence and it is all peer pressure i think i got lucky because i was brought up in such a way because i was not surrounded with those people probably if i was a part of that circle there would be stress and there would be the urge to do, try out to do all those things i could never because i never tried because i was not a part of that social group that would force me or convince me to do all that but it's very easier for you it's very likely for you to fall into this trap just for the sake of this badge of belonging for social validation or to look cool on social media do not try out things or do not go into casual hookups or casual smoking or casual drinking because one day you will not even realize it will turn out a habit it will turn out to become a habit an extreme habit of yours that you are not you won't be able to leave it at any point in time it might seem easier at first you will feel like oh i'm doing it occasionally and it's very cool i'm getting that social validation that i should get but after some time you will realize you were not meant for this if you really like being that adventurous person you like doing adventurous things and you think that i'm a risky person i can do all that i want i am a person with freedom and independence try out things that i'm suggesting go do a solo trip to great wall of china or go do some paragliding bungee jumping all these things that would make you even more alive that would make you feel more alive i am surprised i am shocked i am stunned to speak because if i ask the definition of philosophy if i ask the spelling of tsunami to that 13 year old or to that 17 year old they won't be able to tell me but if i ask them what is the meaning of body count or what is the meaning of all these situation trip and all that they know that that is very shocking i don't know what my generation is doing but when i'm very proud of my generation i also realize that my generation is not able to differentiate between the right people between the right influencers and the wrong influence of people they are making money out of our own views at the same time they are influencing us to do things that we would not want to do against our own will that probably if it was our mom if you go and ask your mom my mom is 99% times right about things and i'm not and i accept that wholeheartedly she has more experience than me 
I could read all the books in the world and still I would not be as educated as she is. And there's a reason behind that. They have experiences of life that we lack. They do not have those experiences. Health risks are so high. They are relatively very high in these things. So go do some bungee jumping, paragliding, scuba diving. All these things would make you sound like more of a riskier person than drinking or smoking ever could. So go and try out these things that I'm suggesting. If you do not think that would be a relevant thing to do, go try out some hobby that scares you to the core. Go and try out. They are just making money out of your attention span and nothing else. And when I say this, I really mean it because when I deactivate my Instagram or when I stop scrolling for about a month or so, I realize that there have been significant improvements in my life. It takes a 360 degree turn while I am deactivated. I am doing my stuff and writing, journaling, creating videos, connecting with people, connecting with my close friends and all that. So, uh, all those attraction and all those uh, small habits, all those small petty little things that you think that would not turn out to be a habit in some way or the other, it will eventually become an extreme habit of yours that will you will not be able to leave at any point in time. It can become an addiction and you won't be able to leave it after some time. So, I think... The only thing that I would suggest you is to make mindful decisions about yourself, about your body, about your choices. Last but not the least, if you are someone who is looking for a secure relationship, who is looking for commitment, who is looking for soul more than a body, someone who is looking for comfort more than chaos, calmness more than chaos, you are absolutely a normal person. It does not make you ugly. It does not make you any less of a human being. Because if you choose to remain single, if you choose to remain unaffected from all those people who are telling you that it is not so cool because you don't drink, it is not so cool because you don't party, it's not so cool because you don't hang out with you know, so many people at the same time. I can tell you that you are absolutely normal. Probably they are abnormal. That's why they are forcing you to do all that stuff. And making all these things a norm so choose very wisely who you follow and who you get in touch with because people are making money out of your attention span don't watch too many of them because eventually you will consider them and you will convince yourself to indulge into all these activities that you are doing against your will that was it in today's video and i really hope i was able to confess what i really wanted to because uh, I felt it inside my bones. So I thought of sharing it with you guys. Yeah, and uh, keep hydrating yourself. That is very mandatory. To look beautiful and to have a good mental health. So that you can make good decisions in life. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care of yourself. And you can subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Because I like having a community of people where I can speak my heart out. Bye, take care of yourself.